kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how I make my cauliflower and sweet potato mash with spinach and carrots. Also, I would like to show you how I make my quinoa salad. So please come and join me as I show you the step-by-step -step procedure. First of all, we need a quarter of cauliflower. So it's only a small cauliflower. We'll just chop it up and we'll chuck it all into our pan. This is frozen spinach, but if you can get hold of the fresh ones, so I'd say about a quarter cup of spinach. I'm just going to throw that into my pan here and we'll peel the sweet potato. I'm making this for two people and peel your carrots as well. So we just chop that roughly, throw that in. We'll chop up our sweet potato and we'll boil this all up. So this would take about 10 minutes to cook, about a quarter of an inch thick. Put some water, just enough to sort of just cover it, so even if it's a bit lower, that's all right. Add a tablespoon of salt, and we'll just let that boil and cook for 10 minutes. I have a small kohlrabi here, so I'm just gonna take half of that, and we'll just peel it, we'll just slice it thinly, I could actually eat this just as is, because it's really really sweet, but it's, it tastes like a radish, but only sweet with um, no tanginess or spiciness because some I think radish is um, for me anyway it's um, quite sort of have a spice in it it's got a little bite but this one is sort of a cross between a turnip and radish and and just slice it thinly or thickly it's up to you how you want capsicum slice so it doesn't matter how you chopped it and then we'll take half an onion peel it and slice it I didn't have any red onion in my pantry so I'm just using white onion so, but if you can, if you've got red onion, then it's better if you have red onion. And then we'll just break it all up. Then I'll take half a Granny Smith apple. Just take the core out. Just peel it, and again we'll just slice it. And we'll just throw it all in. I have half a cabbage here. And I'll just take a couple of leaves. And we'll just slice it and we are just going to finely chop this ones so I just have some boiling water and I'm just going to blanch it And then we'll just let that cool down. My red cabbage has cooled down, so I'll just put that into our salad bowl. And then we'll take half a cup of quinoa, cooked quinoa.
I've got some salad sprouts here, which is mung beans, radish, and alfalfa. Just a couple of handfuls of salad sprouts. And you can just separate that by hand, or you can use a tong. I prefer to use my hands. Put a little bit of salt. That's plenty enough. Pepper. White balsamic vinegar. And flaxseed oil, but only a little bit of flaxseed oil. That's plenty enough. That's about two tablespoons. And we're just going to toss it. And put an eighth of a cup of sunflower seeds. I just drained my cauliflower mash and so I'm just taking a little bit of margarine. It's about two tablespoons. This is olive oil margarine or olive spread and we'll just mash it all up and I'll put a little bit of soy milk just a little bit at a time because you don't want it to go mushy. Add a little bit of cayenne pepper about half a teaspoon So that's sort of the consistency that you're going to have. So now we're going to have a taste test. Mm. It's beautiful. Really, really yummy.